bit about some of the services that I offer. Um, so first I'm going to talk about the market. The last few weeks I'm coming in and I'm often telling you, you know, we're in a strong market if you're selling, right? It's a hard market if you're trying to buy in general, and it's, um, it, it's a better market if you're trying to sell, or sell because we are in a seller's market. However, not every home is going to sell with multiple offers. So for example, in the last 10 days, it's been a super busy um, month. I had six listings go on. Three of them within a week had multiple offers and went over asking price. But the other three did not. Um, and I do have listings that are on 30 days or 60 days or longer. So um, there's two things that we, I need to do. Maybe there was a is um, we need it's not to understand here. the local market and we need to understand the home. So what I have here is um, a market report for single family homes. So single family homes in Westchester, you can see the prices, the sales are up by 10%, but overall the prices are down that you're looking to sell in to see how your market is doing. Um, so Irvington is the first one I ran, and actually this is only a quarter, uh, a quarterly market report for Irvington, so it might be a little bit off. But you can see here in Irvington the prices are up, but the, the sales are up, but the prices are down um, a little over 10%. So if you're pricing or you're looking to buy in Irvington, you need to recognize that. Because if you price a home 10% over, it's just not going to sell. Homes that sell have to be priced for the market. Now if you look at the condominium market, it's kind of different. Here you have sales are up in the condos, prices are nominal down, but if you're in the Marinette, forget it, your sales are up 68%, and um, your price is up 26%. So if you're pricing a home to sell in the Marinette and it happens to be a condo, you're being super aggressive, where if you have that single family home in Irvington, you need to be more modest. So what's very important is you need to understand where are you selling and what type of property? Is it a single family? Is it a co-op? Is it a condo? Is it a multi-family home? So